Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. I am seated inside the brand new Jayco J Flight SLX 174BH, 21 feet 8 inches, roughly 3,100 pounds, 3,140 dry weight, but can sleep up to five. This is your family's first RV. If you've been tent camping and you know what? RV camping, I want to check it out. What's it all about? Let's check this one out. And by the way, Thanks for tuning in. If you like RVs, you like camping, please click like, subscribe, and notify so the next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. We're going to start right up here on the front section of the 174BH, the front cap, if you will. You got a bed that's going east to west right here, a queen size bed. Right up top, you're going to see the shaker style cabinets right here with the white washed feature on it, matte black pulls, and I like how they open to the side because a lot of times the doors open going up. And that can sometimes be a hassle, especially at night. And on the off camp side right here is a 5,000 BTU window mounted air conditioner. Got me some storage underneath my queen size bed right here. Right down there, you'll see also a GFCI outlet access from the outside storage door. And even right behind my plush comfy pillow right here, how about some dual USB charging? Gotta have it. This will sleep five, and a lot of times people will get this type of RV if they just need a place to sleep and get cleaned up, maybe enjoy the meal, but they're mostly going to be active and doing a lot of things out and about. You got the privacy curtain right here, which will help give you some privacy. Continuing along the off camp side here, you'll see we got our booth dinette. Now, being slideless and being seven feet wide, uh, not going to be able to fit four people here be a little bit tight. This does reduce down. The table does come off the wall here and sits on the feet underneath these cushions and this lays down. Great for a kid or a dog, but you do have an extra large window here, wood balance, and right up top is going to be more storage right there. I got myself a little skylight right here to let in some additional light as well as airflow. Mushroom lights all the way around. And Nick, I don't know if you can see that, but right there is going to be our entertainment center. That's an IRB Technologies AM FM command center. It does have Bluetooth. Uh, it also has the USB connection right there and even an HDMI port. Now, on the campsite, this is where you're going to see some more of that brighter decor. You got the pressed surface countertop, undermounted sink with the high rise decorative faucet, 12 volt outlet, which for me I thought is pretty nice because a lot of RV TVs, because your TV bracket right here, is 12 volt. You also have the cable connection, and this is set up for the wine guard boosting and a suburban two burner cooktop with some storage underneath. Got a good spot for a trash can down there or just whatever you need. Up top, we're going to find our Greystone hood, high point microwave, and more storage. Not going to have to worry about that at all. And right over here is where you're going to find your, well, your awning run out and your little info panel. Right here is where you're going to check, see where your tanks are. You can also cut on your water pump and cut on the lights for the coach as well as run out the awning. Now this one, this year they've upgraded it. A lot of times uh, in years past, you only got a 30 gallon fresh tank on the Baja package. Now the SLX has come with a 30 gallon fresh, 19 gray, 19 black. For a coach, it's only 21 feet, eight inches, not even 22 feet, not even 3,200 pounds dry. That's pretty nice. Then add to the fact that we get ourselves a Furion 12 volt fridge freezer combo right here. 10.7 cubic feet on that one. And right there is also our furnace as well. Uh, 19,000 BTUs on that one, 20,000 BTUs, excuse me. Even got a little storage drawer down there. And what's cool about these full extension ball guides, all the drawers inside the J-Flight have 75 pound capacity on them. That's super nice. Jayco loves increasing the capacity from the Magnum Trush roofing, which is one of the strongest you're gonna get, not to mention the warranties that Jayco has on their RVs, they give you more weights in things like the bunks. A lot of times with these single over singles, the bunk capacity is only about 150 pounds. Jayco gives you 300 pound capacities on both. You do have the Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattress, USB charging, mushroom light. I will tell you this, uh, if you're looking at this as your first RV and you say, oh, Chris, that's awesome. That's perfect. We got teenage kids or, you know, maybe all oh, for the ladies camping trip, the guys camping trip, whatever. Uh, get a mattress topper from your uncle Chris. Get a mattress topper. The, these are still fine. They'll be fine. They're plush or comfortable. I got you. Underneath the bottom bunk is going to be some storage. Nice little addition because a lot of times uh, it's either just completely closed off or you have nothing there. Then we step into the bathroom. Now, this is where it might get a little tight, so just watch out. 
Oh, actually, not too bad. Okay, I'm 6'2", and the skylight does give me the headroom. If I had a normal size forehead, I'd probably be six feet. Probably 5'8". Seven, eight, nine head. But, got the matte black features on my shower nozzle there, the tub and shower surround. This, to me, is also a nice feature because a lot of times in campers, especially this size and price point, you don't get the tub. Why is that nice? If you're active, you're outside, or if you have kids or pets, you can clean them off in here, spray them off in the tub, no splash over, whether you're showering or tubbing, you're good to go. Mirror right there, high rise plastic bowl with the foot flush, and right here on the wall, Nick, I don't know if you can get that, check that out. How about a tankless water heater? Now come on. Uh, great little first camper for the family that's looking to get out and see the country. Speaking of get out, let's go check out the outside, come on. And by the magic of video, St. Nicholas is already outside. <laughs> oh, just come, just work with me on that one. Friction hinge door right here with the screen. I like that because it's solid, as are the steps leading you in to your J Flight SLX 174BH. Sealed safety windows all the way around, 16 foot awning, and right there are your external speakers. That entertainment center on the inside, you can play your music outside as well as inside. So, very nice feature. Now, if, if you remember when we lifted up the queen bed that's going east to west here in the front cap, this is accessible from the outside. So, very nice little feature there, as is the covered hinge and the magnetic clasp. You got the manual tongue jack here, powder coated solid frame. Also got your 20 pound LP tank, uh, magnum truss roof with the ones with the seamless roof cover. Uh, I like that because it means less water getting into the coach. But something that you don't see a lot, don't know if you can hear that, galvanized wheel well. It's to me that's important because you're going down the road, you might get rocks, debris tossed up under there, could damage the undercarriage. Very nice feature to have it enclosed there, galvanized there. Plus, you got nitro filled tires, you got the Dexter Easy Lube axle, got the sewer hose storage on the back. They even give you the spare tire and cover, as well as backup camera prep, rain nozzles on the exterior. Uh, come around to the off camp side. I know it might get a little bit dark over here, so I apologize. Cable connection there. Right there is our tankless water heater and our drains. Now, once again, we've got a 30 gallon fresh, 19 gray, 19 gallon black. Got my 30 amp plug right here. The fresh water fill right there. And probably one of the most important things you're going to find when looking for your RV is going to be in this area right here. The info panels. This is where you come to see how much does this vehicle weigh solid choice for your first RV. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about this one, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you and we always will take that information back to the manufacturers. And hey, if you got suggestions, things you'd like to see, ooh, can we get this color? They listen to you. Jayco J Flight SLX 174BH. 21 feet, eight inches, 3,100 pounds dry. And I hope you liked it. Chris Young for Camping World saying, hey, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.